I don't know, I seem to have some kind of past life recognition of how to set things up and ideas about color uses, which haven't been so popular. And it's starting to happen. I think I was kind of ahead of my time with my choices and continue to explore and push the envelope as much as I can. I'm Hunt Slonum. I'm sitting in front of my painting Doves and Guardians. We're here in Soho, Space Gallery. I've lived in New York since 1973, and I've been showing in New York since I'm about 23, 22 years old. Well, I was very blessed because I only wanted to be an artist. I knew since I was, you know, in first grade or kindergarten that that was it. I, was asked what I wanted to do, and I drew a picture of myself standing in front of an easel painting that my grandfather painted, and not full time, but he always sent us paintings, and I grew up with wet oil paintings around me, and it was the, I was decided and definitively committed from the earliest point of my life to wanting to be a painter. You know, what you do as an artist has certainly grown in my um, life, and um, I'm very interested in saving historic properties as installations, which I'm doing in a big scale right now. And I'm doing sculpture as well at this point, and printmaking, other things, wallpaper, fabrics, a much larger repertoire of um, creative projects than I had a few years ago. Um, I just feel the color is the focus of my life. I think of it like candy or something and then I've played with swatches of fabrics and myriads of colors as a child. I love, um, you know, color fans and choosing colors for rooms. Child. 
had birds as pets since I was a little kid. We lived in Hawaii. For a while I was an exchange student in Nicaragua and Managua. I had my first pet toucan in 1968. Um, and then when I moved to New York, I discovered um, some really interesting pet shops at that time. And I started collecting finches and my bird collection grew and grew and grew. I had 16 kinds of toucans. Pet importers were trading me for my work, Bellbird in particular. But I've lived with probably 50 parrots for the last <laughs> 40 years. And parrots because they live a long time. So I collect porcelains and an old Paris chunky <laughs> English porcelains, you know, German. I have thousands of these. I have seven national landmark homes filled to the brim with porcelains and I've also done porcelains. I did some with Tiffany's a number of years ago with parrots. I can't say that the um, shapes and forms on um, the porcelains affected me, but it is interesting to know how many hundreds and hundreds of years, thousands, that these particular creatures have affected art. The rabbit just kind of crept into the work again. I haven't really kept rabbits in years. And the idea of um, hanging them salon style came about years ago. I was doing these 10 by 8 studies and they exactly fit Victorian um, photo portrait frames, which I've collected by the hundreds. And I love doing big installations of the rabbit heads. Take on bigger and larger projects. 